So today was our best day fishing ever. Well, his best. Got something big. Dude! All right, um, so our day started off. We went to Walmart. Went to look at all the fishing stuff for future fishing trips. I got some leader line and weights and all that good stuff. Got a couple different rigs and and then he updated his fishing license. Yeah. Uh, Me and him. He also got a snook and snook and lobster, which I'm hoping to do that this year. But hopefully we will be able to. If we're going to, then I'm going to get mine too. But you know, yeah. that's a few. That's Josh won't spend six dollars. <laughs> Uh, so anyways, came back from Walmart, it was pouring, pouring but then down. when we got to my house, the storm had passed through, and so we decided to go fishing. Thankfully I had two poles so we could both kind of throw them out in the water. And so we're, we were using these little fish bites, uh, saltwater fish bites, artificial bait, whatever, pig bait, whatever you call them. Um, had some pretty good luck with them. So, we weren't having very good luck around my house. So we went to the Hope Sound Bridge. And the monster arrived. <laughs> uh, just tossing it out. And actually I had forgot the cooler if in case we caught anything. And so he stayed there by himself fishing. I, I fished a lot longer than Josh. Yeah. I get our history of fishing is that he's done it a whole lot longer than I have. He knows a whole lot more than I do. And that's pretty, <laughs> that's pretty much the basis of it. Um, so he was doing fishing while I went and grabbed the cooler since my house is like two minutes away from the bridge. Um, I got back and he switched over to try to get some snook because there was activity going on in the water. I guess, and so there's a little voodoo shrimp that he used. You didn't get a single bite? <clears throat> yeah, nothing. I thought happened. that was a bite before, but it was a rock. Well, so I was, I had a little snapper rig and had those fish bites on it and uh, tossed it out, sitting there for a little bit and I was feeling a little bit of a tug and I didn't think I had anything, then I started pulling on it a little bit, and all of a sudden there was a little more tug, and the whole time there had been a fish on there. And for like a minute or so, he was messing around with, uh, he was messing around with putting on, going back from the lure to using the fish, the bites. fish bites on hook and weight and whatever. Meanwhile, so, Josh was on the monster. <laughs> he, he was, he was a, uh, playing with that and for like a minute I was just I mean the pole's bending over like crazy and I'm reeling this in and he doesn't even know it because I was using a bait caster so it wasn't making any noise when it was when I was reeling it and it was still tugging it out a little bit it wasn't clicking or anything like a bait caster does so um, I was reeling it in he finally looks over and sees my pole bent over and then he starts videoing this you got a freaking redfish you got a redfish Josh Dude! <laughs> Josh! Oh my word! Josh, those are such good eating! <laughs> Get him out of Oh my word, okay. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, I'm gonna look up the I'm gonna look up the size. We gotta get your picture with that. Josh, you cut, dude, I've never even seen one of these. Wow. Man, that was fighting like crazy. <laughs> Anyways, Anyways so now here's, we a video, here's a video of us playing it. We had to have his dad help us. And using a dull flay knife. I could have done it, but. Anyways. You just laid a red fish before. I've never. This is the first thing for everything for a redfish. Catching, seeing, filleting, oh, eating. Daddy, have you ever scaled a fish? Yeah. I'm not doing it right. Do you need to do that? You don't, you don't need to scale the fish. I don't need to scale it? No, you're filleting it. 
Oh, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute, that's not where you start. Start on the top fin, between... Oh, run right along the top? Yes, and right down to the middle of the backbone. to solve with these knives. I guess that's all we've ever, I've ever really known. Because <laughs> every time we just saw the way out. Well that one at the beginning wasn't, I, it needs sharpening. Mm -hmm. That was a brand new knife. Ripped off. Pull it towards me. Yeah, I was just like flabbergasted, it's like, oh my word. <laughs> It's a redfish. <laughs> yeah. I could. You saw it before like, I could. Yeah. I was like a little kid. Josh, you got a freaking redfish. <laughs> <laughs> Here at Clayton's house. Oh, I didn't hear you. And uh, that way is west. And we have a better sunset in the east than we do in the west. That is really cool. The reflection on. Oh yeah, the reflection on the pond is like awesome. Oh wow, look at that. Okay, so I was wrong. That's starting to look really amazing. It just turned that color. It looks like fire. Amazing colors all around, really. That's awesome. So we got it all cut up. And after that, one fish. We got these awesome fillets. They are rather large. There's a size comparison to my hand. And a sideways size comparison to his hand. So I mean, there, there's probably a good couple, That's like two, couple, couple pounds, like two and a half pounds, a couple pounds of meat right there. So uh, I think, I think it'll be plenty. Mm-hmm. So, so now we're gonna look up. Now we gotta figure out how to cook this thing. Because <laughs> I've never had a redfish before. Let's see. Oh yeah, this is the first time I have caught red. You know, the inexperienced person, first time I've caught a redfish, or seen one in person. I think it's the first time he's ever seen one. In the, like, in the flesh. I've seen them. Oh. But... You mean in person? Yeah. First time, well that's what I'm saying. First time we've both seen them in person. You know, if you want to, you could comment below for suggestions for the next time of how we should cook it and what your favorite is. Yeah, give some suggestions. And suggestions of different movies to make. Yeah. I mean, this is our behind the scenes channel. So, I mean, we do all kinds of stuff and, you know, we'll video something stupid we, we do. Tip number one on cooking redfish. Wrap in aluminum foil. No washing dishes. Because <laughs> you're... That's good. Did you see the devil? I'll crack her up. Oh, don't do it too. Oh yes. Yes, see. Honey, your dad. It's a... So what's the crackers do? Crackers they're gonna brown. They're gonna brown and give and soak up the juices as it's cooking. Otherwise, the juices will just run out and it'll and dry. And kind of keep the flavor with it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Really? Ow. Now let it rest for a little bit. That looks good. Mm -hmm. Good. He tried to Look at that. You know, that there's not Ooh. A, you know. Oh, oh. oh, no. That should be a... Like a, a rewind, you know? Yeah. Man. Look at that. Do -do -do -do.
That about sums up our day today. Uh, definitely was not planning on having fish for supper, but turned out to be a really good day. Had a really awesome looking sunset, both in the east and west, all kinds of color. And uh, that's about it.